Hello and welcome back to Thief 2 The Flying Age or as it seems to be more so far the uh, Mysteries and Murder Age. Now I missed something apparently very important earlier while wandering around. I don't know I don't know exactly what. And that's, a, that's nice. Lights the place up a bit more. That was just this, right? Oh! Bring me guilty blood. Okay, I guess with the torches off, I wouldn't have seen that, right? Well, and that's, I missed it before, but it's very obvious what to do. Okay, now I know. So it's kind of on the right track with, um, carrying the body around somewhere to prove that the deed was done. But it was not taking it to here for poetic justice or for a clear uh, evidence of criminality or whatever. You might ask, with my evidence theory, right, how would the Duke know that this was the guy... I mean, he's got a knife in his hand, but, you know, that could have, just, could have framed it, put it there after death. He might just think I've murdered the servant as well. But, like, all the Duke has to... Look at, look, look at it. It says right there on the screen, the killer. All the Duke has to do is look at him, or at least sling him over his shoulder to find out that this is the killer. It's quite, quite obvious. Also, the writing on the walls, which kind of gave the game away. But, there's a better plan for him. We bring him here. And that does open. This is... The ancient relic, Elgato. Alright, finally we have... something we need and we can start... playing with puzzle combinations. Um... Okay, so maybe there are only six combinations. Let's put this on. Um, I have made notes of, uh, off camera of all the different tablets we found. And that gives us... How's it? How do you even use this? Propping it just seems to move randomly. Why is it not pointing at anything? Oh, it's looking at them, okay. Um. Oh, can we... Oh, I see, we can... Select it and then frog. All right. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, I made notes off screen of all the different tablets, so we can try them. The tablet that was in the puzzle room was man, monster, fire. Oh, I see. We've got to light up all of these. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So, I think I've got them all. Now, the book in the puzzle room. I mean, this is the puzzle room. This is the room I'm calling call the puzzle room. Uh, mentioned another combination, which was moon, monster, man. And that is actually literally right there, Moon Monster Man. Uh, oh, they've got the glyphs in them. Some of them. Or is that only coming up after I've done the thing? I don't know. Let's do the next one. The tablet hidden in the bathroom was I, 
I monster. The tablet in the botanics room that was in two parts was man, man, I. Uh, that's not I. Ugh. Let's try that again. Man, man, I. Alright, that's that one. And uh, the f one in the study was moon, I, fire. All right. Oh, hey, what? But there's one more. Oh, no, right. The last one I've got written down to me to the tablet in the museum. It's the same one that's written down in this book. Moon Monster Man. Okay, so there's definitely seems to be a redundant provision of these tablets, but you don't really know they're redundant until you find them all anyway. So it's a little odd. Because the Man Man I one, the Botanic Room tablet, was also written down on a piece of paper. I think that's th two or maybe three of them were written down. All right, well, we have found the way into the tower. Hello. Is that the bedroom there? Wow, there's a pretty uh, powerful guard raise. <sighs> Anything hiding here? Oh, we gotta check. Um, right, so that, all that, to prevent access, prevent people accidentally finding the way into this tower of his. And stealing his flying machine, which is for, for emergency only. Oh, two doors. Is that locked with the mansion key? Nope. Can I pick it? No. All right. Well, maybe the key. Maybe we'll find the key in here. Spell. Careful not to fall down. Yeah. Sorry. This looks like what we're gonna need. What? Another locked door? Oh, this one I can pick. Okay. Oh no! Broke the lockpick. Oh, well that's useless now, isn't it? I can't drop it there. But, what have we here? Don't know about you, but this looks perfectly safe to me. Uh, we got a lever. We have a control panel, and it has some instructions on it. It's like, well, I guess there's a door that needs opening, right? That's probably this. Garrett, you're gonna learn how to fly the hard way. Are you ready? Oh no. I'm literally gonna have to pull levers to steer. Let's go. Uh, where did I... Where did I pull that door knob from? It's not wise to, to change direction during takeoff. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't have to fly. Don't have to steer just now. Well, that was a dramatic finish. Oh, there's a bonus. Solve the whole mystery about Elgato. I don't understand what we. what we did that would count as solving the whole mystery, particularly because I don't understand a piece of it, but we did get all the parts to find the plane, so I guess that's something. Uh, right, we found, we found all eight secrets. 
guess it counts for something, although, you know, we cheated for with the walkthrough for the one in the plants. Um, but, you know, it's how it goes sometimes to make progress. Alright, let's get on to the next mission. Ah, this is fly over to see to want to get on board, find a way inside it and steal the... So we're back to trying to steal the machine. And there's this whole question... Oh dear. Of, um... Oh no no. Oh no. No no no. Well, was a mistake to turn the engine off uh, mid flight. <laughs> Whoops! I didn't even make a save at the start of the game. Uh, thankfully, there's a replay button, so I think that's maybe the first time I've ever used it. I'm supposed to be aiming at for with what I'm steering here. I see a door. I was not expecting to do a mid-air uh, intercept. The cold is frozen the direction levers. Um, that's not good, right? Oh, they hurt me now. I can see why this plane's only for emergency use, but, um... Is it getting away from us? Let's let's check our compass, make sure we're going in the right direction. East-ish, yes. That was not actually good. Is, this, is it working? I can't tell. Maybe? Is that a platform on the back? This is definitely counts as one of the strangest bits of uh, of gameplay in any actual prop up you are playing as Garrett for the mission. Alright, that'll do. Alright, now I don't need to play anymore. Whoa. Oops. Damn, I didn't mean for that to happen. Well, I tried to turn the engine off anyway. But... In before I catch cold. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that's a good idea. All right, time to make a save. <sighs> well, I can drop the anchor. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Nice. Well, there's, a, there's that's, I guess, how we're going to make our escape when we're done here. So I can break that window and get inside there. Are these just all actual anchors, right? No, that one also is the switch, okay. Ballast. Is it a good idea to do this? Uh, down, alright. Oh, hello. There is a switch down below. Okay. I don't... I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Well, this people. looks like the way in. Okay, there is a way in, but um... Wasn't there a door on the other side? Couldn't I have just gone in the door? It's a hatch, yeah, see? Oh, it opens the entire wrong way, so I would never met it in there. Reveal thyself. Oh god, they heard my clanging on the metal. Mechanists. Is a coward's game you play. Tis, indeed. Well, they've heard me now. 
I don't have any equipment. I don't even have my flash bombs. Gotta crouch down. Well, a daring midair intercept of a flying Zeppelinga is sadly because he's only locked picks, he cannot open this type of lock. Alright, well, I th think then I'm just gonna have to knock this guy out. Well, it's not the storage key. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I should be super. Uh, Sadistic here. Well, it doesn't say not to throw these people overboard. Oh, hey, there's even things I can see on the ground below. Doesn't tell me not to throw my board, right? No one's going to notice if crews start falling from a great height, are they? Garrett, you're a very nasty person. That's storage, okay. Oh. Oh man, we could pile the bodies up on here and then dump the whole storage, right? Interesting. Moss arrows. Uh a bit of junk. So what's all this about? I'm not sure I want to know. Oh wait, I can't, can't pull it back up unless I drop down there. Well this is a strange and fascinating machine but this is not actually getting me closer to my goal of, uh, what is it we're supposed to be doing? Stealing the propolizer machine, which is presumably not this, it's just a piece of junk. Bathroom, all right. With a flush toilet. Water flushing and all. Hello, someone's left some coins on the uh, side there. If someone be there, then we speak that. Problematic doors. Uh. I am cur curious if there's anything hidden here. No. Ah, oh, they heard that. Whoops. That's not good. Well. Oh, wait, is this the. Oh, it's just lights. I don't want lights. Not when they're asked to run around. Hello? Valuable? Navigator's compass is not valuable. Yes. Uh... I mean, you seem to be hit pretty well. I can't find you. Maybe there's another floor to this place. I guess without lock picks, I can't pick that lock, and I don't have another key. Oh, we've got guest rooms. Okay, so I can't get in the guest rooms without lock picks. I was like wondering why is there just a door standing in the middle of the hallway? I didn't actually pause. There was a uh, there was a door that I had opened. Yeah, there must be someone upstairs. Now, should we knock out the pilot? That would perhaps not be a sound plan, you know? How do we get upstairs? Uh, hey, hands over your head. What? How did you just wake up? 
How come how come you're not working properly? Oh, that'll do. That'll do. So you have a purse on you. I thought I saw a purse on you. Maybe it was your hand. You didn't even have a weapon, what are you gonna do? Ah right, that's the, the lift. It's just the uh Oh yeah, hello. Die, Banner. Oh, that's the Zippelinga logo. This, that, uh... Oh. Sorry, mate. What was your name, Count Von Zippelinga? Oh, I could've just... Oops, could've just switched the light off instead of, uh... Having to knock you out, because... But then I wouldn't have gone into the kitchen to eat your lovely food. And uh, look, admire your lovely fire there. And look in your lovely sink. I've stolen the lovely coins that were there already. Okay. Look, sleep here on the kitchen table. It may not be more comfortable, but uh, it'll be warmer. And nobody will notice you. Uh, can we have some music? No. Second floor, oh good. Room reserved and waiting for these guests. Duke Carl von Braun, Elizabeth Hartmill, Dr. Philip, Mr. Carl Openfield, Mrs. Ellen Openfield, Sir Westwood. Room reserved for the crew, Commander Jemison, Captain Crowley, Chief Mechanic, Lieutenant Gorelli Stefan, the helmsman Goldig Johns, Folder Guglielmo, Tree Bernard, Jack Sparkrose. Alright, now we know where, who's, which rooms, oh well, I mean, I could jump out. Probably should not, right? Probably should not do so. Okay. Now I've made a full circle. So the second floor is locked. But, uh, there's a lift. Uh, why did you open that lower door? I find that slightly confusing, but okay. These hallways are very narrow. And there's really not... Well, there's, there's light switches. So there's really not much place to hide. So I will probably just knock out guards rather than try and sneak around them. Definitely not much in the way of places to run and hide. We actually don't have a loot goal in this mission, but uh, like that ever stopped me. Oh, we kept a crystal sword, that's nice. Maybe that's the room for dumping bodies in. What's it say? Crew quarters, only authorized person personnel are admitted. I hear a guard. Are they coming this way? So what's the second floor key that I got? Because we're on the second... Oh, we're, not, we're, we're on the second floor, right? We just came out the lift. Commander's room. Just peek through the curtains here. What no thou art You have a purse for sure. Why are you, why are you taunting me with all these locks that I can't pick? Seems very very uh cruel. Alright. Surely we've gotta get into the commander's room somehow. Are you sure you didn't have a first mate? Kind of, for some reason I was really sure that you had a soul one while you were... Uh, kind of... Waving your arms about, but I guess not. I guess not. 
Oh, it tells us all about the Zeppelin here. Very, very interesting. So what have we got going on here? Lots of buttons and dials. Alarm stop, that could be useful. Is that thou, friend? On off. Twas nothing then. Oh, it's like in mine ears do over this from. Okay, before I just a boiler, this or perchance something worse. Don't stop flying. Return to your station, man. <laughs> no noise now, Bill to be blessed. Foot locker key, okay. We are going ahead at full speed. Alright, so I'm as sure of it as the builder himself. Yes, definitely boilers. Quiet once more. Thanks be to Callus. So I could set off the alarm. But I think now that I have a footlocker key, I can open those foot lockers up here that I couldn't before. Um Where were they? Through here, right? Just up, up above the balconies. Yeah. No? Oh. Alright, what's this tell us? Warning, folks. The rotary valves control all the balloon pressure. Absolutely no one must touch them during flight. Anyone who dares to break this rule will be fired immediately. Oh, these rotary valves. Okay. Wait, those pressure gauges are sitting at zero. Is that good? Or is that just... They're kind of wobbling. Maybe that's just scripting that's not working right. Okay, so... I am... Kind of... So this is Commander's office, right? He hasn't got a key in here for his room. Where would this machine be kept? How do we get to the escape plane? Surely it's an escape plane. Uh, I don't know the answer to these questions. I feel like I've explored the whole place. Right, I'm going to need to try brute force and... Uh, does this actually glow? No, it just, just looks like it might. See if this does anything. Not right. Alright, let's reload in case the the uh, pilot heard that and was uh, getting upset by it. Now what? I could knock the pilot out, but that does not seem a particularly wise course of action. Wait, who's this other person I hear? I thought I knocked out everybody upstairs. Is there a... Well, let's ride down this and see if there's any... There isn't any other place, right? We're at the bottom. There's a hatch there. Is that the toilet hatch that's open for f from the flushing? Maybe I should close it again. Um, all right. I thought there might. I thought for some reason there might have been a walkway down here that I just missed from looking the wrong direction. But apparently not. Uh, but since I can still hear footsteps. Let's just check. Let's just check my theory there about the hatch. Talk about the hatch. Seems like it's in the right place. Indeed, indeed, that was the spoiler hatch. Look at that attention to detail. That's amazing. Um. Wait, so there must be another floor above. Is there? A, is there? No, oh, it's just the map instruments. Is there a door I have overlooked? 
Oh, there's this one. Is that the second floor? Yeah, okay. Problem solved. Green man. You... I'm sorry, green woman. You're going to sleep. And you can sit down here in... Not that there's any chance of anyone patrolling, really, but you can you can rest down here. It's pretty quiet. So I'm a little confused as to why there's... Oh, I could have just left you in here because it's very dark. Why there's a lift to the upper floor that takes... I guess it's to cabins, and right now they're occupied by crew instead of passengers. So the lift is really for passengers, but there just aren't enough passengers on this trip these other important crew what have we got here uh, more junk well that's just lights oh that's somehow valuable okay so this is more storage and that brings us here where that's just connects back to the front Helmets for, uh, oh hello, a key, unlabeled. Could it be for this door? Right, there is another floor. Oh, there's a top. I don't think we need the diving helmet, but uh, we're not going that high into the atmosphere, surely. But we need oxygen. Oh, we're going up inside the uh, I see up inside the actual, I don't know, what do you call it, canopy surrounding the, of the balloon? Canopy seems like the wrong word. This is awesome. This is super cool. And look, there's the, uh, the gas bags wandering around and patrolling. And also the bags full of gas that uh, keep the place aloft. This is brilliant, I love it is not what I ever would have expected from a thief mission. Oh, I don't have lock picks. <laughs> Stop taunting me, game. Stop taunting. It's not nice. It's not fair. Oh, this is a lift too. What does it say? Out of service. Yes, of course. That's why they put the ladder in. Well, there's definitely no room... Oh, I could get down there, maybe, but there's no room to dodge guards on these walkways, so... Good cog is Did you call me a good cog? I am not. Wait, what? Oh, there's someone down there patrolling. Oops. Left trim room. Oh, there's an upper walkway there as well. Is that thou, friend? Right trim room, leave this room open, okay. Interesting. Is this the way down? No, this is a different way up. <laughs> Gas arrows? Just one, okay. I thought there was more than one. Um, well, let's see if I can get on that ladder without dying. Oh, I can fall without dying, that's okay. How am I supposed to get down to where that guy is? Or up onto there? Up onto there might be easy. For Karis sake, is there someone there? Getting down turned out to be easier than, you know. Right, okay, so there's a lift here, and this goes up to the right trim room, does it? Where's my healing? My healing bread. Oh, this lift is a little clunky. Very stop and start. Yeah, alright, so we would have come in here sooner or later. But... MS5 area. 
Also locked. Well, there's a lot of those gear locks. Left trim key. It's got a code. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go back downstairs. Down lifts. And uh, see what else we can find on the floor floor. Loot. Healing potion. Thank you. No, I was trying to use my healing potion. And more loot. And a big crate which I can't seem to open. Okay, now that's a rotary dial. This is all pressure, right? Is this also one that controls pressure? Is this a bad thing to turn? Something is happening. Is that just water? I don't know. Maybe Garrett, uh, Garrett, maybe Garrett, you shouldn't mess with uh, machinery that you don't understand when it is also keeping you safely suspended in the air three miles above the planet's surface. Latest reports. Oh, we should get the latest news for sure. Duke Xavier of Greenlands has asked for a special permit to examine our constructions ne next month. Permission has been approved by Duke Von Braum and is awaiting confirmation from Dr. Zeppelinger. A new kind of parachute is on the way, ready for the next voyage. Alright, what's this room? Storage room. Log. Mex operating procedures. These are operating procedures for the mechanics to follow on every flight. They have been written by Dr. Zeppelinger and approved by Duke Von Braum and Commander Jameson. If you think that any detail is wrong, refer it to your superior. Mixture of the liquid gas inside the kids' balloons. On this page are written many mechanical terms almost incomprehensible to a simple thief like yourself. Directions, movement, anchors and similar. Go to the bridge where you will see the direction control in the centre. The lever on the right controls the speed of all the rotors that move the Zeta 1. To the left and right are several ballast release switches. Warning! It is impossible to recover released ballast, so be absolutely certain it needs to be released. Near them is the switch to drop the anchors after landing. It is dangerous to drop them during flight. On the upper floor, just above the main control bridge, are four separate rotating valves which release the gas pressure in the caged balloons. When operated, they will vent gas overboard and the balloons will lose the lifting force that keeps Zeta-1 airborne. It is important that those valves are watched constantly during flight because there is no warning of pressure loss. The left trim room and the right trim room on the upper floor contain air pressure systems which can upgrade the gas tape to level 2, generating more lift power. In one of these rooms is a big piston controlled by a complex of pipes and a main switch control panel. An escape pod is present in the tail of Zeta-1, but it can only be used in maximum emergency situations by one of these three persons, Dr. Zippelinger, Duke Von Braum, and Commander Jameson. Any other person must use one of the parachutes instead. The code for the left trim control panel is 414. If you have any other questions, ask Doc Dr. Zippelinger himself. 414. All right, so we can get into the left trim room now. Okay, so that switch, that thing that we turned to the left trim room increased pressure uh, right trim room rather increased pressure in the gas bags this thing so I guess that's a good thing maybe I do feel that it's all messing with equipment you don't understand the advice I gave myself uh, a few minutes ago was Still good advice, but um, no, four one four. Is anything happening? Hmm. That seems suspicious. Um, well, before I investigate whether that's broken script tracing under New Dark or something or not, I don't know whether this mission was made for New Dark or not. Um, I'm just wondering if I can see where the. Oh, there is another level, isn't there? Or maybe not. I mean, there's more up. Carrot. 
wondering if I could see where escape craft was, right? Is it the... As we flew towards the thing, we were facing east... Were we? I don't remember. So one of the far ends. But it's gotta be, it's gotta be somewhere else we get to it. key for that. We need this. I mean, I could safety glass. I can't. 414, he says. And it does not work. So what do I do about that? Oh, hello. There's more. Oh, this is the other side, not the one with the gas arrow. Okay. I thought this was just the same side as the gas arrow. My mistake. Can I get up there? Probably not. Garrett! Oof. That was lucky. <laughs> so don't fall to your death. And for once he actually uh, managed to save himself from, from a bad death. Yeah, it's still too high. Alright. Uh, I'll just drop down. Alrighty, I have so I have the code. It's not working. So uh, I am just going to go and check. Uh, Alright, so the instructions for the code panel left me slightly confused. I misunderstood them. So let's read those again. Uh, where were they? They were on a table in this room here. So we got the, I got as far as the code, right? And then read, if you have any other questions, ask Dr. Sipalinga himself, and concluded that was the end of the book. Uh, it's not. This book uh, is not really designed for multiple pages, so it doesn't have the page indicator, but lots of mission authors like to use it for multiple pages anyway. Turns out there's a bunch more pages I missed, so let's keep reading. Patrol routines and periodical checks of the structure. On this page are many more incomprehensible mechanical terms. In the right trim room, there is a door leading to the maximum storage security area, MSS. To access the MSS area, you will need the correct Zeta key. Ask one of the main crew for it. The maximum storage security room contains the propolizer machine. The code for the right trim control panel is 234. So I'm going to need that. The valve in the room below the right trim room moves liquid gas from one chamber to another. It shouldn't affect anything, but for safety's sake, it should always be turned off to avoid unpleasant surprises. Uh, okay, well, I guess I should probably turn it off then. That is the last page. Uh, right. So, 234. Yeah, let's turn that off. Don't want any unpleasant surprises. That would be less than pleasant. So that explains why this code didn't work. But I wasn't getting any feedback at all, so it kind of surprised me. What is this doing? Oh, that gives access to the piston that's giving double pressure or something? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's close that back up again. Now we have the left trim room key. We can get in. Alright, and this one was 414. So we can go... Hey! The intruder's right here! Seal the area and sound the alarm! Ah, uh, the thief fell into our trap. You'll stay with us tonight, Tapper. Tomorrow, you will meet the chief guard, and then we will see something to laugh about. <laughs> well, I better warn you, I have a terrible sense of humor. I see, never see anything to laugh about. So that was a fake key. We're locked in. That looks like a real key, but not for this door. 
Probably this one. Yeah. Uh, what's the loot? Oh, lots of loot. Fernando, please put the iron bar in the correct container. It can be used to open the air duct crates. Air duct crates? That sounds useful. Don't see any. Uh, Zeppelin structures. Could be... Probably not relevant. Parachute. Uh, maybe that's useful. Yeah, we just check out the objective change. We've given up our objective to steal the machine. The plan has been thwarted. Your priority now is to escape by using the parachute. Okay, escape by using the parachute. Uh, oops, this is not the time to use the parachute. You're getting muddled. I'm covering uh, spider webs too. Well, I guess it's just meant to be parachute ropes. Uh, well, we've repacked it nicely. Good. Uh, basketball. We can, um, you know, pass the time like uh, in the Great Escape in the cooler, or we can grab a metal thing, open air vents. I don't see any air vents. Uh, did I read this? Warning note: I am Gvel, a scientist collaborator of Dr. Zeppelinger. After a routine examination of this area, we noticed that the pipe here has a couple of cracks in the structure. We must change this pipe as soon as possible to ensure that the pressure is maintained, otherwise the slightest knock or collision could compromise the integrity of the whole pipeline. The pressure would drop immediately with bad consequences for the trim piston. Oh, you mean this pipe? Slightest knock, you say? Maybe less slight? Bad consequences for the trim piston. Okay, so the trim piston here is retracted. And this looks like a vent. Uh, oh, the metal bar, yeah. Open the vent. Alright, let us Escape. Uh, I guess I can only open that from the other side with the uh, the turny thing. And, hmm, that's where I'm, that's where I would go to escape. What's what's out along this way? Slightly dodgy sound effect. Oh, we can look into the maximum security storage area and see the propolizer machine we were supposed to seal. And, you know, that's ridiculous. There's no way I could fit that in my uh, loot sack. That's huge. Well, a good thing the plan went wrong. The plan went wrong because, um... It was bound to fail one way or the other. Alright, let's... Jump. A long way down. Not far from this height could hurt. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right, parachute at the ready, Garrett. Let's jump. Another thing I never expected to be doing in Thief was, firstly, not to be on board a flying machine, let alone flying a plane into one for an aerial intercept, being on board a flying machine, and then parachuting off. The things Garrett gets up to. Uh, found 999 loot out of 1,000. We missed one coin somewhere. Uh, secrets found one out of one. All right, well, I guess it's not over yet. The story continues. Well done, but now? During the fall, you lost some of your equipment. Dang it, I hate it when that happens. Find a way to reach that balloon again as soon as possible. What? We just jumped off the balloon? And you want me to go back? Well, I guess we are going to steal that big machine after all. 
tumbleweed. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, it feels good to be on solid ground again. I don't know if I want to get back to the sky. Got an old wrecked biplane now. Random crate. So this, ah, oh, more wreckage. Airplane tail? What? Am I going to be building a plane? You don't tell me... You're not telling me we're going to get this thing up and running. Oh my god. Garrett, how desperate are you? Like, I'm not even sure this thing could ever fly. Missing a wing, missing a tail, missing an engine. Well. Garrett's lived too long already. What did you got to lose? Well, maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. Alright, let's see what all this is about. I hope that's not the plan, but you know, you never know. Blood plats. Useless. I was hoping for the door to open. What? Oh no, I want to be up here, obviously. Wow, climbing and moving ladders is another new experience. Slightly, uh, unconventional one. <laughs> what does that do? Oh, I can't turn the I can't pull the switch, why not? I need to do that first. Okay, there's something coming out. Uh, maybe this, oh, this is a fuel tank, right? Letting all the fuel leak out. That seems like a bad idea too. What do you got here? An air screw. Well, maybe that's a useful part. I don't know. Let's let's check the front of the hangar. on in here I think. Objective complete. Build a flying machine. New objective. All right okay this looks this looks uh, well equally hazardous but maybe maybe less equally reckless less hazardous perhaps. I mean why would I expect Garrett to get it right? What does he know about building a flying machine? What does he even know about flying one? He did it once because... Well, I mean... I don't know, let's just put the parts here. The first time he tried to fly a machine, he accidentally switched the engine off mid-air, right? Would you even trust him to build this thing? I'd probably put the propeller on backwards. Oh... Don't know what I'm supposed to do about all that, but let's leave that for later. Let's just bring these two parts in and see if we can find any... You know, maybe there's a uh, baby's first flying machine step-by-step -step instruction somewhere. I can only hope. What's this? Instructions? This is the work journal. Some pages are missing and some others are damaged. Day 15. We are still in here waiting for relocation to a better place to continue our tests on machine number 5. Dr. Zeppelin has sent us here where no one can find us to allow time to set up a new hangar in the south zone of the city. Day 16. The crew are beginning to sicken because this place is nothing covered with air. No distractions, no sounds, no people around for miles, only the job to do. I'm becoming a bit sick too. Hope it won't be long before we leave. Day 22. The main job is done. The rotor for the Zeta-1 will be sent tomorrow and today I have given the crew a free afternoon. 
I told them to stay within the area, but where could they go? The next village is over 150 miles from here. Day 28. We are preparing to seal all for relocation. We should be out tomorrow and the machines will be relocated later, so we are going to cover machine 2. Note for the final shift. All the materials for the project will remain here until Group B arrives. Because many of the machines are very heavy, we can only transport a small portion of the total. We must ensure that nobody will get in, so don't forget to seal this hangar completely before you leave. The next village is over 150 miles from here, so it's really lucky that Garrett landed right here. Uh, because it would have been a long walk if he'd landed a little bit away. Uh, blueprint. Project 1B. This is a modified version of the original Project 1. A Von Braum's idea with four rotors and double wings, ideal for long voyages. On the Bindwans Project 1, Fly Machine A. Link the tail with the main chassis. Then put the lever in the right place for the ignition. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. Is that what I'm building? Yes. Project 3, the copter machine. This is the joint result of two kinds of technology. To build it, you need all those items. A lever, a rotor, and three different air screws. Finally, don't forget to fill the balloon with the gas. Hmm. Waste grab. So, what's just to stop me putting the tail of this machine on? Oh, I guess I'm not building. You're big and huge, get out of my face. And you're overly dramatically stuck in the ground like a sword. Um. This ladder's going to be awkward to get off. We've got another air screw, okay. Maybe I don't need to climb off the ladder. Two air screws. Why can't I just build this one? Lever in the tail. I've got the tail. There's got to be a lever somewhere, right? Let's get these bloody boxes out of the way, though. Don't think we need them. Oh, they were just. This is. A, oh, this is a skip. Right. I don't need to. I don't need to pull all this stuff out. I need to uh, hoist this out of the skip and get it to a place I can assemble. Right. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Can't use the hoist yet. There's an airplane lever. Can I put it on the airplane? Nope. Don't need to just collect all the parts rather than leave them in convenient places? Maybe, maybe. I'm a little a little confused by the multiple sets of instructions there. It's just Oh, I think I get it. That's the project B that's covered. That's the one I gotta build. This is the old project A plus another big uh, basketball. Uh, that they've thrown out. I see. This is the one I need. We're going to build a flying machine. Garrett! I hope this is a mission worthy of your talent. Oof, that was pretty quick. Uh, okay. Did I just drop it? Yeah, okay, let's retract that then. So I guess I don't need this hoist. Do I? I, mean, I can hoist this up. But I'm not sure why I need to then. Well, that gives me easier access to the stuff in here, so maybe that's all that's maybe that's all that purpose of that. What happens if I drop it now? Oh, it won't let me. So what does this do? Oh, it sends a walkway. I'm just slightly confused because there's two sets of instructions. 
Yeah, so we can we can make this one too, can't we? We can certainly bring it out. Maybe we need some parts off it. cover off. I'm so confused. How come I can... Why does it look like I can build both planes? Both vehicles? Is this just like a choice I get to choose which one I build? I have these two pieces, right? For this one, I need the lever. And three air screws and whatever you call that and the gas bag but why would I do that when I uh, have all that I need to build this one slowly good job Garrett let's get on there Come on. And we have the lever, right? Fly, Garrett, just fly high. I'm confused. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to get on that. Come back. No! Wait for me! Uh... Oh, dear. Maybe, maybe it was a good thing I wasn't on it. Maybe, maybe that was a good thing. Okay, this means war. Assemble another flying machine. I didn't mean to, uh, correct, I didn't mean to uh, actually let it go without me, but I think that turned out rather well. Uh, okay, we are going to need this after all. All right. Still useful lever. <laughs> Very good description. All right, okay. Now I, I comprehend. Now I should go up and do my dr dramatic reveal of this, of this plan B one. And I guess, I guess that's the idea. As you see... Uh, this should have been the this should have been the plan A. Like it should have been had this project machine A should have been rolled out on the table here. So you read that. I don't know. It would have been nicer to to not have discovered this one. Just seen it as like background decoration until uh, crashing that one. But uh, whatever. Okay, put that in there. No, not yet. I can't put that in just yet. All right, let's. Uh, Open the big door first. What? I, I want to, but what should leave it? How do I open the big door? It's maybe from the outside. All right. Uh, let's 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 hope the uh, other balloon. Which I, which way was it even heading? I mean, I have a compass, but I don't know which way it was heading. So let's hope it hasn't gone too far by the time we finally figure this out, because. Uh, how do I open this door? I mean... You're telling me to open it first, but you're not telling me how. Actually, did I go around the back of this place? I'm not sure I did. Or well, is this where I saw that found the other air screw? I mean, I've got two, I need three.
Okay, let's see if I can open that door somehow. Somehow. All the unprecedented things, Garrett has. Uh, somehow, let's just let's leave it on the wall here. Fine. Fly, learning to fly badly. Doing a mid-air intercept of a balloon. Attempting to pull off a daring heist on board said balloon. Leaping off the balloon with the parachute. Building a flying machine, a second flying machine. Crashing it. Building a third flying machine. I mean, okay, this is. It's not the third one is built, the second one is built. But the third one you'll attempt to fly. Second one you attempt to fly but completely fail. Fortunately. My god, this is this is either Garrett's best or worst day, and I'm not really sure which. Uh that feels dangerous. <laughs> Danger physics. Alright, so I can get to the gas bag now. Wait, let's let's worry about the gas bag later. What's this one do? Alright, that lets me get out of here to easily assemble this thing. Alright, I've got the lever. That's not the lever. So, let's... I don't remember all the instructions. We need a lever, we need three air screws. It's five parts, and the three air screws aren't counting. I'm counting as one, counting as one of those five. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Okay, the gas bag is already on, so we don't need to put the gas bag on. So, okay, it's three parts. We need the propeller for the back. We need the air screws go under the gas bag. We need the gas bag fueled and the lever. I've done the lever. Air screws, one, two, three. Oh, I didn't get all three. And <laughs> they're labeled air screw, air screw two, air screw three. All right, uh, we need that propeller. I think there may be one on the, this machine, maybe. There was one on the balloon, if I... Oh, maybe I could, yeah, if only I'd thought to bring it with me or chuck it out before I jumped off. Uh, you know... I'm really not sure if there's any salvageable parts on this. Doesn't really look like it. I wonder if there's anything else around behind these, uh... Trash heaps. No on top. And there's the airplane the tail that we found on top, right? It doesn't look like there's anything but top weight. Wait! Maybe this airplane actually has a propeller we can salvage? The small propeller? It looks like we might be in luck. Excellent. Right, so that goes on the back. So that's what we need this movable ladder for, is, is to install the air screws. I think. Alright, let's go install the air screws. No? That's the fueling pipe. How do we install the air screws? Oops. Uh, I am slightly confused here. Oh, okay, there's three attachment points and they're all different. And I don't need the ladder for them. Just have to get the right one in the right place. Alright. Fuel. Don't climb the lever, climb the ladder. Now we can extend the fueling hose. Ah, uh, fill the gas bag. Don't forget to turn that off, it's probably hazardous. Get that out of the way. Garrett, do you think you know how to fly this thing? Well, we've just got to try. Just got to give it a go. Like, only got two levers, how hard could it be? 
The spinny things are spinning. Oh, it's for steering. Okay. Look at me, I can fly and I could fall out. I mean, lean to see below. You know, I know Looking Glass made a lot of flight simulators, but I never really expected Thief to end up in that same. Uh, Never expected to be doing a rudimentary flight simulation within Thief. That's kind of amazing and in a kind of terrible way. <laughs> All right, uh, oh dear. We flew. We flew. We flew. We did everything we needed to do on that mission. Uh, that was a massive. Well, that was really not what I was expecting, but that was very enjoyable. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I, uh, you'll join me for the next episode soon.